Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're down at Whiteman Park again and we've got to start up and move this beautifully restored 1929 Leyland Lion bus. This was operated in Western Australia by Metro Bus Company in Perth um, and used to do Perth Claremont Fremantle trip. It's been restored by the Bus Preservation Society of Western Australia. Uh, they do some great work. Uh, they've got a good collection of lovely buses. This is their website here. Uh, they are always looking for volunteers if you're interested in volunteering. So this has a Leyland six cylinder petrol engine in it. Uh, it's a little bit hard to see in here. Um, this is a large brass carburetor. You'll notice there's actually no air cleaner on it. It was built before they realised air cleaners were important. It has a magneto here which has a which generates the spark. Uh, so there's no coil. It doesn't need a battery in it to run. If you are going to crank start it, uh, you can do that without putting a battery in it. The other thing this one has is this little tank here, which is the fuel vacuum tank. So these did not have a petrol pump on them. Uh, there's a tank down underneath the body. Uh, one of these pipes here is connected to the manifold vacuum. The other one is connected to the fuel pump, uh, to the fuel tank. This one has been disconnected now. It was working until recently. There is a small internal tank here. Uh, when the petrol level in here drops, there's a valve in here that opens which causes the manifold vacuum to suck the petrol into this small tank. When the level in here comes up to a certain level the valve closes and it runs out of this... Uh, sorry, when, the, when this small tank fills up the valve opens and it drops it down into this larger tank here and then there was a line here that gravity fed down to the carburetor. So we're going to jump in now and see if it's going to go. This is the interior of the bus. This is a timber bodied bus. So it was imported from England with just the cab and the chassis. Uh, and the body was locally built here. I'm not sure who actually built the body on this one. Uh, but you can see the beautiful timber work on the ceiling here. Now, this is all a reconstruction. So you will notice that this is actually plywood because the original timbers are just too hard to get now and too expensive and plywood is actually stronger but they've done a beautiful job restoring this this bus has opening windows on it so you can get a bit of ventilation I believe these seats were all originally leather they have been reupholstered in vinyl uh, once again it just costs too much and it's very hard to find anybody who can work with the leather I love the door closer mechanisms on these old buses. Modern buses are either hydro, uh, air operated doors or electric. These ones are all mechanical so you end up with these what would have originally been nickel plated rods that run from the door through into the driver's cabin and the driver pulls, the, pulls this lever here to open and close the door. These driver's cabs are really cramped the handbrake on this bus actually goes the wrong way. You push it to put it to put the brake on because you can't get into it with the brake off. Now this is another one of those old old vehicles. Accelerator in the middle, clutch on one side, brakes on the other side. So we're going to start this up in a minute and hopefully we'll get to see it running. So Ignition on, we have ignition lights. Magneto on. Choke out. Ah, retard. So advance the timing. In neutral. And the battery's still flat. Alright, we'll have to wait for a while and we'll come back to this one.
thanks for watching everybody i hope you've enjoyed this video and i hope to see you again next time thanks bye